Today we will be starting understanding complex IT infrastructure. We are just a few steps away from our basic technical learning and this is where a lot of people will be confused. We have cleared some confusion about you getting started first. We have cleared some confusion about your status. Are you student? Are you changing career? But now you're at the point where you want to get started. But before starting, let's do a small illustration in my worst drawing ever. And then we're going to jump into a field trip to our server room. And then there I will explain things. Let me warn you, in that video I will be using some technical terms which you do not need to worry about it right now because all of this we will learn in our courses in our next few sessions. The question may make sense to you or may not, but don't worry about it. The more you go with the courses, you will understand more and more. This is just a try because a lot of people will get stuck at this point where the IT infrastructure and the whole picture, because a lot of people start from basics and when they go to the corporate environment or business environment, they really don't know what's going on because the whole complexity, the whole networking is designed that way that you will be like, you know, really, really big confused area. So I hope that I make this easier. If not, don't worry, we'll cover this in our more videos and we'll make it more easier. So for example, I'm going to say that this is a jungle. Okay. You are here and I want you to go to this point. Of course, the question you will be asking me, you're saying to go from point A to point B, what is the best route? And I just don't want to go in there because it's a jungle. I don't know what's in there. This is just too much. I need to go to a step step B, point B. Tell me what is the safest route and wh what is the map for that. So in this walkthrough, in this video, my whole purpose is to give you an image how things are designed and not in too detailed way because that's going to make things complex and that's what you need to learn in the courses. But just to give you a simple picture. So as a help this person, you really don't need to go into too much details or too much learning uh, and then waste your time because there is an easy way to just land the job and then learn all this stuff. Okay, so if you're going to, from point A to point B, I say that in this whole jungle, there's this point, then there's this point, and then there's this point, and then there's this point, and then you simply need to come to this point. So I already gave you the map, right? So you're going to go here, you're going to go to here, you're going to go here, you're going to go here, and you're going to go here, and you're going to get to the point B. So my whole purpose of this explanation is pretty simple, that I am going to give you the courses that you need to take on jobskillshare.org to get to point B, but then also I'm going to show you the images of the real world environment where there's going to be a lot of things in the middle here that you may be asking. At point A, I saw something that kind of interest me but I need to come here because I need to get to point B now I want to know about point A so my whole purpose of this illustration is that you want to go from point A B and C and to get to your point meaning that you will take our courses and you'll land a job and you still have the image in your mind you're gonna go back and learn about specific things because you really like that and I'm talking about this is your virtualization your Microsoft technologies your uh, routers so maybe you came to this point and you saw something about servers and you were like wow you know servers are my thing I need to go back and learn about servers and that's where you're going to become that server administrator specifically focusing on server skills and anything that server administrator does I mean it's not just servers of course more than that and we will explain all of that in details now maybe you saw networking in there you saw something about networking in, on this spot and you're like wow this networking is pretty cool now at your job at entry level job you may not be doing anything with networking so when you uh, you're at least working here you got the job you have now more resources you can use your company's resources and now you can go back and actually spend that time on that now you might saw virtualization like wow this is the coolest technology ever because you can put servers and networking everything in one thing that's virtualization you know you can go back to that so the whole point of this before I get I make this to in a big lecture we will explain all of this in detail but my main point is you need to be here first so you're stress free first a lot of people get stuck in this environment we're learning this 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 and so many things and still don't know am I I'm where am I the first thing is like where am I 
a lot of people get certification uh, Microsoft Cisco and all these certification and they still cannot make the pieces together they still can't move forward that is the whole reason so now I'm going to take you to the server room to continue this course keep the image in your mind and keep moving forward hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org today we're going to create an image in your mind uh, infrastructure how infrastructure IT infrastructure is laid out or are laid out in different companies there are different environments some are complex some are so simple but today we'll give you a basic image in your mind that how things are in working environments so number one you need to know ISP your internet service provider just like your home your modem routers and Comcast and Verizon similarly um, the work environments have also ISP they may have one or two as a backup I'm going to show you that in few uh, seconds so here we have then wiring going on then some of the wiring that is done in the whole building I will talk about that and then we're going to talk about the data center and that is basically your main IT room where servers are and different type of technology it could be Microsoft servers it could be VMware uh, it could be switches and routers all that stuff uh, is basically inside this room and then some other things in this one data center now this could be also a hybrid type of uh, environment where you have the data center here and then you have a cloud uh, basically like an Amazon and then inside the cloud you have another servers that could be Amazon clouds or uh, Azure this could be like a Microsoft servers and so that's how you're connected then your users are in the building and they are inside the rooms these are the rooms right here and then all the patch basically like for example that that wire is going back to the server room and that's patched uh, in there so I'm going to show you today how this is done in reality and now this is a very simple image but in a real world you're gonna see this and then you'll keep this image in your head or your mind and then when you follow the courses it's gonna make it really easy for you when I say VMware then you're gonna picture that oh he's talking about VMware servers inside the data center he's talking about the server inside the data center he's talking about our desktops which is actually in the room connected through wires all that will make sense so when I talk about ISP this is a T1 line and this could be from let's say Verizon Comcast whatever uh, they will have set up over here so this is not something you're going to be working on as you can see Verizon stuff right here or you can have a second line which is different than uh, Verizon this could be another company for example this is like a level 3 and a high-speed company so this is these are two lines over here and then you'll have some backups over here again as an entry level person you're not going to be setting this up as a help desk desktop support entry level position you're not going to be doing this type of setup this will be done and then after this the network engineers who are more into network designing or network CCNA and CCNP uh, more of like a Cisco guys after that they will set up the other things as you can see the wires are going up then you'll have wiring done over here as you can see there are some other wirings like fiber optic and all different type of wirings depending on who is giving you connection if it's Verizon different type of connection they will have a different setup and wiring done by the company now sometimes the company now sometimes the companies will give their own router and they will come and set it up for you and sometimes you have to set it up from that one connection when they say okay we got the connection live this is our buyer right here we gave it to you now set it up this is all your job Bob is going to be setting up networks this is going to be that CCNA courses networking specifically talking about routing switching and all that type of stuff you need to know that but for the entry level help this position you still are not going to be working on this type of work when the networking part is over then this is where the company will invest on their own technologies we don't know what company is using what type of security but they're all using some type of security they will get the device big device for security virtualization they might get like a huge big server from Cisco or some other place 
So that's going to be your main server and inside that server you will log in and then you will use something like VMware or Microsoft virtualization technology or whatever you want to use and inside that you will be start installing the servers and then after that you're going to be managing that MCSA kind of stuff like Microsoft servers internally meaning you need to know about the operating system its features how do you do things with it that's something different than just setting up the hardware and again that job will be mostly towards system administrators or specifically if they are going to hire someone for virtualization they're going to be hiring someone for that specific technology and that's going to be like a vmware uh, administrator or uh, or a system administrator uh, specifically towards microsoft virtualization if not if it's a small company it's just going to call them system administrator and they're going to be doing everything servers security networking sometimes system admins usually do that all but in bigger companies your networking will be more of the network guys and that's going to be cisco routers and all that stuff your uh, server administration applications working on websites that are running off the servers internally from these little vmware or physical servers that's going to be your system administrator if a server is broken or something is not working then a system admin will get their tools get the servers racks and everything physical work mounted over there now the entry level position where hub desk they may come to this this area and they may plug in some things to help the system admins or network engineer they may you know plug in like a cable like this and uh, and plug it to a server or maybe a router uh, a, a switch or something like that and then connect it and then have the system admin or network engineer log in so you may be doing some work like a physical work and just kind of helping them out so you do need to know how to connect routers how to connect the server to the machine and things like that you may need to come to the switches sometimes and uh, maybe you may be looking for a wire that is not working that will be a first troubleshooting step for an entry level so yeah you may be touching your hands on the switches and routers at some point if let's say network engineers are not available they're not physically here or maybe you're working with them remotely and you'll bring the wire plug it in and do that basic troubleshooting is the wire okay is the port okay is the switch okay overall this is a complex environment now you only need to know as a help desk person just the basics of how things are set up from this video i just wanted to show you how isp connected the wires are connected and then it goes to the server room and then you have specific things like networking servers and different technologies and how different titles work on these different type of uh, technologies and you as a help desk person may be helping them just the basic stuff when you go to the company they will teach you their own technologies and how they do things so don't worry about it as a first entry level position IT person you really don't need to know too much in details about this stuff but what you do need to know and need to know pretty good is working with laptops and equipments and desktops and working with users and what application they're using they may be in the office working on microsoft word some basic basic stuff that does not involve you from going from this route to that server room it may everything have to do over here and this is where server administrators cisco engineers or security guys and other whatever it advanced careers that we're talking about they're not going to come and do this for you you got to do all of this yourself and for that i usually recommend going to jobscashare.org and taking that help us uh, entry level to specialist course and we are actually creating new ones now which is called uh, IT fundamental v1.0 which is actually a part of this this video is a part of this course right now and in that course you will learn that image the whole image that I talked about today that the, the confused questions that you may have you know how, how does the virtualization run what is virtualization can you tell me in a in a in a normal in just a very easy way without technical terms tell me how do you virtualize these servers what what do you mean by that you know so that's what we discuss in this course which is called IT fundamental v1.0 so if you go to jobscashare.org go to all courses library and then search that you will see that this will be your starting point 
Now let's pause over here. I know some of the questions are coming up to your mind and some of you may be thinking, look, I don't want to do the last part, which is the help desk dealing with users. I don't want to do that. Uh, I just want to jump into system admin side. I want to jump into Cisco side or VMware. I want to become an engineer. Now it's it's doable in IT. Like I tell a lot of people that anything can happen in IT. You may not even need this course and still land a job and you may not even need these skills and still do it. It is just the easier way that the way we are doing it now, we're preparing you not only for the desktop site where you will land the job, but the education you're you're getting from here is basically geared towards higher level positions, more like system admins. And after system admins, we know that you are going to be on your own because you will know more than us. In your own environment, you will be the expert. We are not going to be do doing that. So the easy way is to start from here and develop that thinking and develop that training and skills that you're moving forward. A lot of people will get stuck in the entry level, and this is why a lot of people will come and say that's a stressful job and say all that stuff. That is because the way they're doing things. That is the way they're learning. So if you're learning it this way, you're going to have success. So after this, what I'm going to show you another video where we're going to specifically talk about the desktop side.